What's going on guys? I've got here a 2008 Toyota 4Runner and I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the fuses for the front windshield wiper, the rear windshield wiper, and I'm also gonna give you some troubleshooting steps for when the wipers aren't working. So we're gonna begin by inspecting the fuses that are behind this cover here. It's real simple to access. Basically, you pull in through here and it will hinge outward like so. Now setting that aside, we can look in here and there are two different 30 amp fuses for us to examine. So the first 30 amp fuse that I'm gonna show you is up here at the top and it's right here. So just gonna go ahead and pull this out to show you what a good fuse should look like. This fuse provides power for the front windshield wiper and it also provides power for the front windshield wiper, uh, the washer uh, motor. Power from that fuse is also sent to the combination switch. And uh, the switch is not just a switch, there's also a microprocessor in there that helps with a few things such as the timing for the intermittent wiper feature. Now the rear windshield wiper motor receives its power from a 30 amp fuse that is a different format. So this is called a J-case fuse. And in addition to providing power to the rear windshield wiper motor, it also provides power to a number of the features of the rear tailgate. So definitely check that out as well if you're having issues with the rear windshield wiper. And when you're done checking the fuses, you can reinstall this cover. Now, those of you may experience an issue where only one of the front wipers is working. So if one of the arms is going from side to side, but the other one is not, there's a very easy thing for you to check. Uh, this problem is most likely to occur after a lot of heavy ice buildup. So we've got our driver's side and passenger side wiper arm. Let's say that the driver's side arm is not moving. What we can do is pop off the cover here and you'll want to inspect this nut. Sometimes the nut will get loose or the wiper arm itself can strip. So uh, I believe it's a 15 millimeter. So if you pop off this cover and see that the arm is not moving, but the center piece is moving, then you may wish to tighten that down. So yeah, I hope that this was a uh, good troubleshooting step for you or a good starting point in troubleshooting the windshield wipers on your Toyota RAV4. Please do let me know if you have any questions or any advice. Thanks for watching.